Welcome to the Virginia Aquarium and Marine Science Center. Home to thousands of animals representing over 300 species, displayed in entertaining and educational exhibits. More than 210 employees, working next to 800 volunteers, keep this amazing underwater world ready to enchant, entertain and inspire you. The five biggest exhibits hold over 2.2 million liters of water and are home to over 120 species of fishes. We, the divers, are probably the most visible of the people maintaining these big, beautiful exhibits. The process to become a diver starts at the volunteer office with information and a background screening. Only certified divers can become a member of our team. Whatever their level, every potential diver must pass an evaluation. This evaluation allows our staff and volunteer trainers to assess each diver's ability to perform basic activities underwater. Most of these skills are the normal task all divers should be able to perform. But some are designed specifically for diving in this unique environment. This environment is special. Clear visibility, warm water, no currents and many curious fish. The evaluation and continuous training ensure that our work is done correctly and safely for both the staff and the animals every time. After a briefing, some rehearsal and preparatory work, the tryouts start with a swimming test. All divers must swim 200 yards freestyle. The second skill is getting in and out of the water in a calm and controlled manner with a focus on minimizing splashing. This method of entry is necessary for the safety of the fish and limits their stress. After the smooth entry in the water, the candidates demonstrate their ability to swim underwater. All changes to an evaluation station must be done in controlled manner. Skill 3 involves divers removing and replacing their fins. This skill is necessary to access the shallow part of some of the exhibits. Like for every test, the evaluator first demonstrates the tasks and then requests the candidate to perform the same. The skill of removing and retrieving mask and regulator is needed in case a big fish, an obstacle or a dive buddy causes the loss of these important pieces of equipment. It is also a skill shown during diving demonstrations for the public. Another part of this dive demo is hoovering. Maintaining neutral buoyancy is important as it helps to avoid disturbing the exhibit substrate and prevents harming bottom dwellers or exhibit furniture. Swimming figure 8, with a good body trim and without touching any obstacles, is not only a proof of one's ability to move around in a confined space, but is also part of the public demo. After the figure 8, the candidate must exit the water in a controlled manner. The last component of the tryouts is not an evaluation, but a training. Mastering the use of a backboard in an emergency is a life-saving necessity. Safety is taken very seriously and emergency drills are practiced on a regular basis. 
All of these skills, while seemingly simple to perform, are basic necessities for any diver who expects to dive safely and effectively in one of the five big aquaria. Once the tryouts are done, the diver will be entertained to dive in a specific exhibit. To better understand the work of a diver, let's follow the steps of a dive. A dive starts with the preparation of the equipment. Safety for the diver as well as for the animals. As with every dive, there is a briefing about the dive with the aquarist and the educator. The educator is the link between the diver and the public during live demonstrations. After all is ready, the diver put on the equipment. In the meantime, the educator assembles an audience for the demo. Regulator, shall we? Can we blow the diver a kiss? 
After the high fives, handshake, pictures, it is time for some maintenance. The dive ends when the diver resurfaces. The tender who keeps an eye on the diver also helps with the equipment. After the dive, the equipment is washed and the observations are written in the dive log. Following good practices and continuous training keeps animals safe. 
together with other staff and volunteers, our dive team makes sure that all operations are run safely. We provide the animals a safe and quiet life without stress. Like in all dives, we are just visitors in the fish's house. They have priority, we adapt and do not disturb them. Thanks to our efforts, visitors can marvel at the wonders of the aquatic world and enjoy unexpected encounters. They also have the possibility to learn more about our passion and to see us working. Together we make sure that the aquaria are well maintained and that the visitors can have a clear view of the other world. We are working together to inspire nearly 600,000 annual visitors to appreciate the marine environment as much as we do.